Best estimates are that 1.5 billion human beings live in conflict-affected uh, and least developed countries. One could try to deal with conflict-affected states as a separate issue, but every year most of the conflict-affected states are also being affected by climate change. In Africa, where many of the most conflict-affected states are, uh, it's expected that uh, two-thirds of the arable farmland will, be, will disappear owing to climate change in the next 20 or 30 years, while the population is going to double and about half of the population now depends on rainfall farming. Many billions of dollars are diverted from uh, national development in, in uh, the least developed countries and other parts of the developing world that uh, undermine uh, development. The Commission was formed to address critical international issues and dealing with these kinds of issues requires not only the collaboration of national governments, but subnational governments, regional organizations, international organizations, and very often civil society groups and business. We approach these issues from a very large framework, and that is that there are critical spaces in which humanity functions. And we call these public, ecological, and transactional. I think success in these issue areas and for the, and for the uh, report's recommendations would be to build more effective global governance institutions that include many levels of stakeholders in a way that's considered legitimate and accountable 